All right, everyone, I hope you're all enjoying your dinner or enjoyed it. It was absolutely amazing. We're going to get things going here. So once again, welcome to the Alpha Beta Omega jacketing ceremony today. Uh, first off, we just want to thank a few people. Uh, so we want to thank the GRCC Board of Trustees, first of all. So let's give them a round of applause. And then we'd also like to thank the GRCC Foundation Board of Directors. And now it's my pleasure to introduce, if he's finished with his meal, Dr. Andre Fields, Associate Professor and Founding Director of ABO. How's everybody doing? Good, good. Everybody enjoy their food, their meal? All right, good, good. Well, I'm going to take, I'm going to be talking to you guys for a few seconds, but before I get started, um, we're going to play a little video that kind of summarizes some of the purposes and philosophies of ABO. So I don't know who's going to cue that up, but I'm going to step out the way real quick. ABO came at a time when I was in GRCC and I didn't have nowhere to turn back against the wall. Maybe this isn't for me. Um, at a time where I, I felt like quitting, and it wasn't so much academic, it more it was I didn't have a support system. So ABO became my support system. There were challenges. Me being a first generation college student, I didn't know enough or essential things that I needed to know here on campus. But being a part of Alpha, Beta, Omega, ABO has helped me overcome those challenges. With ABO being there, they kind of shine the light and make you feel like you can help yourself. For some people in, this, you know, in their generation, they come from uh, college graduates, it's, it's a lot easier for them to navigate because their parents or somebody they know close has, has been in there. Where ABO provides that second option for someone who doesn't know it and comes from a circumstances where there wouldn't be a resource there. It's a leadership development program. ABO just doesn't provide tutors, assist with transportation, and assist with hunger here on campus. They also develop us as individuals and kind of prepare us for society. ABO being here kept me on track, um, and even now I'm on track to go to Calvin Seminary starting in the fall of 2018. My goal in going to Calvin Seminary or coming here for social work is to, to free those that are lost too, is to let them know, look man, there's, there's more out here than that. What, what are you really accomplishing? To just go inside people's minds and be able to hear them spiritually, physically, you know, if you take care of their physical needs, maybe then we can have a spiritual conversation about who you are and what you're doing in life. After GRCC, I plan on attending Grand Valley State University, where I will major in psychology. One of the biggest things I want to do is change the culture of my family, and I'm going about that by creating tradition of attending college. Um, first of all, I guess I'll start off with the philosophy. Um, ABO, it functions under the, under the philosophy that Black, Americans, uh, black American males have a very unique experience here in America. Um, and when I say unique, I'm saying that they have an experience that's um, as, a, as a, of, of a lot of cultural alienation, social rejection, stigma, racism, et cetera, et cetera. And so with that philosophy in mind, the purpose of ABO is to provide these men um, with a, a type of network or pipeline of people, information, experiences, activities, um, connections and essentially relationships that can empower them. And when I say empower them, empower them in, in four uh, key areas. The first area is, uh, of course, academics. Um, this is, is a, a leadership development program um, wearing a uniform of a fraternity. And so we always tell these guys that you can't claim to be a leader on a college campus if you're not leading statistically or at least keeping up with everybody else. And so the primary focus of ABO is, is academics because that's what can be measured. Um, but right behind that is leadership development, professional development, but then also personal development. And so in order to 
help these areas of development. Again, we connect these people with the, uh, these students with the right people, the right information, the right instructions, keeping them inspired. And so that's kind of the philosophy, that's the purpose. Um, and at the end of the day, the goal of it or the vision of ABO is to eliminate all achievement gaps that separate black males on this campus from the rest of the general population. And so again, until we accomplish that on a consistent basis, because we have done it in a, a few previous semesters, uh, but until we do it on a consistent basis, we haven't accomplished our goal. And so uh, when, you, when you think about ABO in the future, again, look at it as a program that's here to um, serve as a type of advocate or ally for a group of people who have traditionally, historically, and even in present day times, um, been given a harder lot. When I say a harder lot, meaning they have social experiences that are psychologically taxing. And that's undeniable. Uh, research proves it over and over again, and you don't need research to know that. Um, and so when you're in a situation where you are um, systematically challenged to the point where psychological disempowerment is inevitable, then it's good to be connected to people who can re-empower you on a regular basis. And so um, we do that re-empowerment through mentoring. We have tutors. We have a, a specific location where the guys can come back, uh, can come on a daily basis and be informed, empowered, instructed, fed, um, et cetera. Whatever it is we need to keep them, uh, keep those wheels turning. Not that every guy in ABO needs ABO, but these guys are performing better, if you ask me, because of they are an ABO. So whether you have a 3-5 or a 2-5, I'm confident that the program has assisted these students, and the stats show it. Um, the black males in ABO do significantly better than black males who are not. And so I think I went past my time, um, but it, at the end of all of this, I'm gonna be sticking around. If anybody has any questions about ABO, um, we are always looking for mentors. Right now we have about 100 students. Uh, by the end of this summer, we're going to have 150. Um, we're graduating 20 guys this fall, which I want to clap real quick for that. <laughs> that. That is a record for us. Typically, we graduate somewhere maybe between four and seven a year, but this year we're hitting 20. Um, we're also transferring a little more than 20 to four-year universities. And so if you know of any black males, whatever setting you work in, whether it's high school, um, the general work sector, juvenile system, wherever you work, church, wherever, if you know any black males who are either at GRCC, coming to G GRCC, or need to go to GRCC, please connect them with me. Um, my name is Andre Fields. If you go to GRCC homepage, type, in, type my name in the search box, I should come up. Um, <laughs> um, but if I don't, uh, come looking for me. All right. On that note, I'm done. Um, you guys have a good rest of the night. And I think you got to see my ugly face one more time. So pace yourself. All right. Take care. All righty. Looks like Bill is going to be coming on up. Dr. Pink. <laughs> it's your turn. Uh, you are going to come on up and talk about the significance of ABO students. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Alyssa. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the oldest community college in the state of Michigan and one of the oldest Amen. Yeah, clap for that. Nothing wrong with that. And one of the oldest community colleges in the United States here at Grand Rapids Community College. Be proud of where you sit today. Be proud of this place. And I say that, I'm honored to be the president, but that piece that I just shared with you of what this institution is and means to this community and to this state that was nothing of my making, so I can brag on it as much as I want to. Because it is because of the people who sit in this room that this institution is what it is today. And the people who are outside these doors, some people right now who are sitting in classrooms, some people who are instructing right now, it's all because of what you have and what you do have done and the people who are in this community. So welcome to GRCC. 
if this is your first time on our campus, shame on you. You ought to have been here before because of the things that happened at this campus. I am so honored to be here tonight. I'm honored because of different uh, people in this room and different people who have meant so much to this program. Uh, first of all, to men like Andre Fields, pardon me, to men like Dr. Andre Fields. And the reason I say his name is because Andre is a man who cares about this program and who cares about every young man in this room tonight who is wearing that striped tie and those who are wearing the jacket and some who are going to wear the jacket. He is very concerned about you and your well-being. And not just your well-being. When I say your well-being, I'm talking about not only who you are today, but who you want to be and plan to be. And he wants to make sure that he makes pathways for you to get there. And what's nice about that gentleman is that he's not the only one who feels that way. You have people sitting at the very table that you're sitting at tonight who care about you in the same way. We have mentors who are in the room tonight sitting with many of you. Can I ask our mentors with ABO to please stand at this time and be recognized? That's important to us that we have these men matched up with people who care about their well-being, and that means a lot to us. One thing that I would say to you also of folks who I'm thankful for is the Weggy Foundation. The Weggy Foundation being one of the major, major contributors to what we do here at GRCC with ABO. I'm also thankful for people like Bill and India Manns who are here tonight with St. Mary's and all the work that they do. I'm happy for Spectrum because Spectrum in the program that they have in hiring some of our young men and giving them not only jobs, but pathways through those jobs to other positions. I'm thankful for partnerships because he can't do it without, you guys didn't want to give me a microphone tonight. I'm thankful for partnerships because of you, we can't do it well, friends, without partnership. I'm thankful for Alyssa Heron being here tonight. That's a partnership. That's a Fox 17 individual who says, all right, well, how can I help? How can I be a part of it? I'm sorry, you're part of it now. You get called on again. Sorry, that's just how we work around here. Part of the family. We call it the GRCC family. Welcome to the family. What it means to me, friends, and I need to talk to our men for a second, to our ABO men, because I, I, I need to talk to my ABO men. And here's what I need to tell you, two things. Number one, I want you to pay attention as you get into the jacket, as you get into it, as you put it on. I want you to pay attention to that because what that means, first of all, that you pay attention to the jacket is because this program is one that is focused on you. And you gentlemen who are already wearing the jacket, pay attention to what you're wearing tonight because what you're wearing tonight means that you have a distinction you have a responsibility within that distinction because ABO isn't just about how GRCC is supportive of you. ABO is also about what are you going to do for ABO because it's not just about you in terms of what you receive. The question also is what will you give? Because as Andre mentioned, as Dr. Fields mentioned, there are other people on this campus, other, other African-American men on this campus who need to know and need to be directed to a program like ABO because some of our brothers are on this campus and for some of them, they're kind of wondering because for some of them, as with some of you, this might be, they may be the only person in their household to have gone to college and there's no one in the house to help them navigate college. Think about it, brothers. Think about what it takes for you to navigate. If you didn't have a Dr. Andre Fields, an A.J. Hoff, an Eric Williams, a Terry Ross, if you did not have these men to say, well, okay, how you doing? Oh, financial aid, let me tell you about financial aid. Oh, wait a minute, you need tutoring, bro. Let me tell you about tutoring. Oh, wait a minute, you haven't gotten your schedule made up yet? Let me tell you. If you don't have that influence in the house, how in the world do you navigate this thing called college? And so what you need to do, gentlemen, 
is that you need to make it your business to get into somebody else's business, to make sure you can be that help to them, to say, bro, come here. I, I, I can help you here. Let me introduce you to and make it your business to take care and to truly be your brother's keeper. Make it your business to do that while you have the jacket on. But the other thing, let's talk about beyond the jacket. Once you're done here, once GRCC has served its purpose for you, and whether you walk across the stage and I get the honor to shake your hand and say congratulations, or whether you leave us earlier before a degree because that next school is already on the onset for you, whatever your case, as you move beyond the jacket, my question to you is how do you continue to pay this thing forward? Because you have people who have done some things for you, who have been there for you, who have made the offer for you, how can I help you? How can I, how can I? While you wore the jacket, you had that support. While you wear this jacket, you have people around you who have your back. So the question becomes, as you move beyond the jacket, how do you pull other people alongside you? like somebody did for you. Because if you cannot, if it's all about you, then you probably won't do that. If it's all about you, then you probably will, will just say, gotcha, peace, and walk out, and the jacket, as you get beyond the jacket, it won't mean anything to you. But if you sincerely think about what it means, truly means, for someone to have given you that hand up, giving you that boost, giving you that encouragement, pulling you off a sidewalk saying, yeah, you need to come in, man. This is going to be good for you. That's who you become for someone else. That's who you become for someone else. Because once your jacket and you've moved beyond it, once it's over, as far as this GRCC journey is concerned, now, now, you have to then decide how do I make a difference in someone else's life? And don't just stop with one person. Don't just stop with two. Find as many as you can. Because bro, I, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, and this is what Dr. Fields was talking about a second ago. Now I got to be a little real with you. I can't say this nicely. People will, people will throw some statistics at you that tell you you are not going to pull this off. I want that to sink in for a second because when I say it, it's hard for me to say it. I kind of tear up. People will send some statistics at you that say you're a black male. My data says you're not going to make it. What are you going to do about that? Because when I hear that about you and about, I don't believe it. Because I know that I'm sitting among men tonight who are way beyond that and are way better than that. You don't let statistics dictate what your future is. You don't let somebody who has the research determine what your future is. You, you have that control. You make that mark. And you don't let them tell you what you can and cannot do. You move beyond that. And you don't let a number Say who you're going to be, what you will or what you will not do. When you move beyond this jacket, when you move beyond this jacket, brothers, you make sure that you represent yourself, your people, and your God in a way that no one can take away from you because you're just that good. You're just that good.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up now. Um, <laughs> gentlemen, I'm proud of you and I'm happy for you. We get to now move into this period of our time where we start this jacketing piece. This is the fun time. This is the time we enjoy. It's the time you really came for. So let's get this thing done. Thank you very much. And you can stay right up here, yeah? All righty. Okay, so now we are going to get to the ceremony part that everyone's been waiting for tonight. Uh, so we are going to start listing the names here in a moment once we get all everyone up here. Once again, I've been up since about 1.30 this morning, so forgive me if I mispronounce any names. Bear with me here. All right. All right. Uh, first, we have Dumuyang Amisi. Christopher Bradford. Adrian Combs, Cobbs, sorry about that, Adrian Cobbs. Kivan Krosky. And Kyle Daniels. Congratulations to all of you. Next, we have Cedric Ingram. Brian Jennings. Amari Joby. Donovan Johnson. and Elijah Lewis. Well done, everyone. Next up, we have Jacob Lewis. Jared Mathewson. Dylan McElveen. Elise Mutula. And Marcel Neomizero. Congratulations. Next to come up and receive their jacket, we have Jerome Robinson. James Stevens. Vi
Valence Tuya Buza? Buze? Buze? Tuya Buze. <laughs> and we have LaShawn Williams. and Jonathan Wheeler. Congratulations. And last but not least this evening, we have Innocent Tumayini. And congratulations, everyone. This concludes the jacketing ceremony part. So let's give these gentlemen another round of applause. All right, and before he sits back down to close up this program this evening, I'm going to invite Dr. Andre Fields back up here. All right. So if you've ever been to an ABO event, the one thing that's great about ABO is we don't hold you long. All of our events are quick and to the point. We have a celebration every at the end of every semester, so... In keeping with that, we're going to be out here in a few minutes. Um, but before I leave, or we leave, I want to do a few thank yous. Um, I'm going to forget somebody. If I forget you, it's not my fault. <laughs> step one. Um, step two, uh, I owe you lunch. How about that? All right, so I'm going to go in no, in no particular order. First, I want to thank Wagey. I don't know if anyone from Wagey is here, but um, as uh, Dr. Pink mentioned, they are significant uh, contributors to the ABO mission and purpose. Hey, how you doing? Ah. All right, yes, they have contributed significantly to ABO. And so I want to thank them. My buzz kicking in from the water, right? Okay. All right. I also want to thank Spectrum Health. Um, they've been um, uh, with us as it relates to employment. I also want to thank St. Mary's. Um, they've been with us as it relates to uh, funding, um, multiple uh, gatherings we've had. And so we appreciate that. Um, I also want to thank... Eric Williams, um, that was my original uh, partner in crime, as we say. Um, he, uh, we started this, yep. Uh, we started this program six years ago. Um, we we kind of sat down, we looked at the numbers with a, a task force, and we found that black males were only completing 25% of their courses. Uh, he was one of the guys that came right on board and said, hey, we got to make something happen. And this, this is the, the fruit of that, ABO. Uh, I want to thank Chris Sane, um, ride or die since day one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he, he standing alone uh, is definitely our most committed and useful and available success coach for six years straight. And so um, he's a major component of the program, and I salute you for that, brother. Um, I also want to thank Brianna Cook. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Brianna has been dealing with these brothers for six years. And if you haven't noticed, she's not uh, black. But she, she does well. She does great. The guys love her. She loves the guys. And she's helped academically nurture, but then personally nurture uh, a co close to 200 guys that have been in this program. And so she's stuck with us, and she's been a major portion or component to this program as well. Um, April Ruiz, an, our other tutor. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up? Uh, sh she's been here the last few years. She's a tutor. Um, and when I say Brianna and April are tutors, they, they're really way more than that. They're actually tutors and mentors, and they're... Uh, 
people that these guys have been able to talk to about their problems, especially some of their relationship problems and things like that. And so they play a much bigger role, but they get paid to tutor. So that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, AJ Hoff. Uh, he's, he's another one of our uh, primary success coaches. He's been around for a couple years, major impact to the program. Guys love him, and he, he beats them all in basketball. That's not a lie. Um, I'm side note, every summer, <laughs> yes, the staff, the success coaches, we have a, a basketball tournament with the students. And for bragging rights, the coaches have last, won the last 17 games. So they won the first one, I think, and we won the last 17. So we brag about that, we argue about that all year. Um, but anyway, I got sidetracked. Okay, uh, Terry Rostick. Where are you at, Terry? Uh, another Terry Rostick, he's been coming to our meetings for years. Um, and he sticks around and talks to the guys and, and just shares what he has to offer. And he's been doing it when he was working here at, uh, work, working for Davenport, but here at GRCC, he moved to Rockford Construction and he's doing the same thing and doesn't have to do it at all, doesn't get paid to do it, he just does it out of the love. And it's been years and I appreciate it, bro. Yep. Um, almost done, almost done. Kyle Hinton, another brother, consistent. Um, he's another community coach, and when I say community coach, um, I mean a guy that comes regularly and doesn't get paid for it, again, doing it out of love. Gets nothing out of it except for the satisfaction of helping somebody attain their vision and their dream. Um, oh, planning committee. The people who plan this. Yeah, we had fun with this one. Yes, um, Tracy Payne, Kathy Mullins, um, Melinda Powers, I don't think she's here. And then, last but not least, I'm a merger, thank you. So, John Cowles, that's my boss, but he doesn't seem like my boss sometimes. Um, <laughs> so, so when you run a program, I think a program like this, in a city like this, um, you need an advocate, you need an ally, you need somebody to have your back. When you're a person like me who says what they feel like saying, especially if they're passionate about it, you need an advocate, you need an ally. And so John, behind the scenes, um, I think none of the students know this, but he's single-handedly um, backed ABO silently in the background more than any person on this campus. And so I'm very pre very appreciative, appreciative of that. And um, um, on that note, I'm gonna finish with the students. I wanna thank you guys. You, have, you guys have given me a lot of purpose. I already knew in grad school what I wanted to do. I knew I was being a Trojan horse. I knew I was getting my degree so I can come back and help my people. And so that's what I'm doing now. And so just to be blessed to be in a setting um, where I can do that, and I can look back and thank God for what he's allowed me to do. Thank you for that. Awesome. I needed that star. I appreciate that clap. Thank you. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so um, you guys give me a lot of focus. You give me a sense of purpose. And more, more than anything, you give me hope. Um, I'm not, this is not a pity party, but black people in America have been through so much and a lot of them have lost hope. And so I've just never been that type of person. You know, I'm not doing this for a show. I'm not doing this because I'm not, I'm just wanting a job or whatever. I'm doing this because I know sooner or later things are gonna change and I'm just playing my part. And so when I see a group of strong black men here, intelligent, gifted, dedicated, focused, it gives me hope that it's coming, it's about to happen. And so I appreciate that every morning I can wake up not fighting a lost cause. I'm not doing this without, without faith. Sometimes I don't even need faith, I just believe it, I just know it. And so I appreciate being around you guys. You know, I, I, I hope you guys know when I see y'all, I'm happy to see y'all. If y'all haven't picked that up, you need to take some psychology classes. Okay, <laughs> all right, but anyway, I'm done. I think I don't have anything else to say. You guys get home safe, uh, much love, and hope to see you again next year. <laughs>